Are you thinking about moving to Parkland, Florida? but you're not really sure what Parkland, Florida is all about? Well, if so, then this is the video for you because we're gonna talk about almost everything you need to know about a gorgeous city. With me is the Parkland pro of the Homes by Kuzi team. Well, I'll let her introduce yourself. Hey, Chris. Uh, Marisa. I lived in Parkland for 23 years this month. In fact, we just had an anniversary here. I didn't realize it. When it comes to Parkland, because uh, Marissa or Marisa, she's on the Homes by Kuzi team and she lives in Parkland. I also have a property in Parkland. So whenever I want to do any videos about Parkland, it's obviously a, um, a good idea to bring her along. So we have the map view of Parkland and it's really good just to kind of dive in here to see where everything is. And we're going to talk about the history of Parkland, why it's growing, why everyone wants to be here, the location, the schools, places of worship, you it. So oftentimes people call us saying, hey, you know, we want to move to West Boca or something like that, or maybe even Coral Springs. And after we really dive in and have a conversation with them, we realize that Parkland might be their best bet. They just never really considered it or never thought about it. And sometimes they didn't even ever hear of it. So let me just show you where Parkland is. Parkland is also called the Wedge. So to kind of give you an idea, it follows this street here, which is Locks Road. This is 441 or State Road 7. And then down here is Sawgrass Expressway. Maybe if I can draw a little line for you to give you an idea. So Parkland is here. This little area within here. There you go. We can just name that. We're going to name this Parkland. Save, and then we can just change the color inside of it just to give you an idea. Parkland's logo is green, so let's just do a light green. So in that little wedge is Parkland. And for to give you some uh, perspective, if you aren't really familiar with the map you're looking at, uh, this is East Boca Raton, which is the um, which is the city limits, and this is the west. This is West Boca outside, non-municipal outside of the city. And then you have Coral Springs. This is all the Everglades, swamplands, and stuff like that. So. It's a really good tucked away location in Northwest Broward bordering Palm Beach County. Actually, this is the Palm Beach County line and this is Broward County. Often people, when they want to know, or we start talking about Parkland, especially if they're coming from up North and they want to explore the beaches, they want to know how far away Parkland is from the beach. And it's not far at all. As a matter of fact, this is the Sawgrass Expressway, which borders Parkland. And most of these roads will feed right into it. You know, this is university right here. This is state road seven and they go right on to the Sawgrass Expressway and you just take this and here it actually converts to a uh, non-highway road, Southwest 10th mm -hmm. street. And then you can take Southwest 10th street and work your way over to Deerfield beach, which is probably the most popular beach in the beach that you will be experiencing the most. If you want to know distance or how, how long it's going to take to get there, let's say just from a midpoint. Let's just pick hit point A and then let's go to the, the pier and you're looking in about, let's see here. How, how long is that? Let's finish the route. Finish. There you go. It's 15 miles or a half hour. So it's not bad at all. It's about a half hour from centralized parkland to get to the beach. So it's not that bad. And I'm going to be honest with you here. If most people who live in Florida, you know, you can see with my complexion here, we don't go to the beach that much. It, it gets old like everything else. And especially if you have kids, because you'll know when you bring kids to the beach, you put them in the car, there's sand everywhere. Anyways, I am, uh, I'll digress on that point. But the thing is, it's close enough to the beach for the few times that you do go there. So that's that. Since we're talking about location and nature because of the water, something really cool about Parkland is right here. You're going to see right in this corner here, Swamp Monster Airboat Tours. You can do airboat tours if nature is your thing. And it's really cool. We actually have a couple family photos there. A lot of people do family photos there. And you can jump on airboats, see alligators and other wildlife. It's it's actually a really interesting experience, fun experience, if you have never done that sorts of thing. So let's talk about Parkland a little more. Parkland's population has grown 10 times. This is actually from 1990. The population was about 3,500 people. And in 2021, it was 35,265 people. So that's about a 10x growth. And obviously it's larger since then because two years have gone by. The question is why? Well, Parkland is truly, truly unique, is a unique city in Southeast Florida. When you drive through there, it feels like you're more in a rural environment and maybe even a different state. It's not something that you expect in the hustle and bustle and I guess that quote unquote concrete jungle of Southeast Florida. They actually have zoning laws to preserve the park-like character, if you will, of, of the city. So it's, it's a really 
has a really unique charm and there's not a lot of cross traffic giving the location as you mentioned this wedge here there's essentially only a few roads to get in there's no way to get in from the west side and and, and really there's no way to get in from the north side because this is a canal here you can only enter from the east side and the south side through a handful of roads and it's also it's pretty small it's less than 13 square miles to put that into perspective i think boca if you count the city and non-municipal area of both of those combined is closer that's closer to 60 over six times as large or five times as large so it's really a, a small charming community with excellent schools parks trails and with a little park like uh, atmosphere so let's get into a little more let's talk about the parks there's a lot of parks we actually have a video coming up talking about all the parks and all the playgrounds inside of parkland it might be ready now when you're watching it if so you can just click up here or maybe it's up here for this particular video we have a few parks to talk about let's start all the way east let's zoom in a little bit this is state road seven as far east as you can get and there's what's called uh cover bridge park or some people call it the red red bridge park it's it's not like a park or a playground. It's essentially a uh, a red bridge. You know, it's a it's a bridge, but it doesn't really go or anything. It's just kind of really good for aesthetics, and it's great a great photo opportunity. You can see in your screen with a couple uh, photos and videos that we took of it also for you. This looks like a little dirt area here because before prior to I guess this year, this was just really forest woodlands and that stuff, and there was no parking lot for you to park. If you wanted to go to the covered bridge park, you would have to take one of the many trails to get there and it just wasn't convenient but now there's a parking lot here in a nice little walking peaceful path that you can bring your dogs or your, your kids or yourself if you want to and there's a bunch of benches if you just want to read a book and stuff like that it's really nice interesting and unique thing you don't get inside of southeast florida and by all means marissa knows me well i can just talk the whole time she knows to interject sometimes so please just interject whenever you feel fit yeah i mean cover bridge park is my my go-to park there's a lot of trails connected there and you see a lot of joggers, bikers, families with strollers and dog, you know, dog walkers come by there. So definitely one of my favorites. I love it. We're going to talk about the connecting trails in a few months. And actually one of the connecting trails connects to the next park we're going to talk about, which is Terramar Park. Terramar Park has a lot of baseball, softball fields, as you can tell. They have soccer, tennis courts, basketball, the t-ball. It's a really good sports park actually they just installed a pickleball court too and also what's great about this park is is the playground i talk about playgrounds a lot because i have kids and we experience playgrounds this is a handy accessible playground so if you you know if you have a child in a wheelchair or with uh, other disabilities it's really convenient they can you know bring their chair up on some of the playground equipment equipment and be more involved it's really nice and then if you wanted to this is not necessarily a park it used to be john h quickly park but now it was a really it was more of a field it was a playground but now, and I guess in the last five years or so, they converted it into a major tennis center. There are other landmarks around this area that we'll cover in a few moments. We're going to come back to that, including the falls here, 55 and over community that was farmland that is now a new construction, 55 and over community. As a matter of fact, my neighbor's parents are purchasing in there and they didn't use us. They didn't use us, Marissa, but it's okay in case they're watching. I'm not upset. So let's, let's keep it working. Let's, since we're on the park kick, let's talk about it. So if you take Holmberg Road, Parkland Equestrian Center is here. And if you have horses, that's really one of the places you'll go. But there's a community called the Ranches, BBB Ranches. It's very agriculturally, very equestrian, a lot of animals, big lots, pricey homes. They don't move all that much. It's just not a lot of in there that moves. But it's a very interesting community inside of Parkland. And you get there by crossing through this nice wooded area on the west side of the of the, of the street on 87th avenue and on the right side you have a question center if you ever heard of the parkland farmers market it is because it is right over in this area right here i also have a video that i did on that a few years ago it's still very relevant just click there or there somewhere on the screen you will see it and you can watch more about the equestrian center Another video I did, ironically, that you can also see on your screen or at the uh, or at the end of this video is Liberty Park. Liberty Park is a very, very unique park. I dive into the details of Liberty Park. It's a, I want to say, mostly handmade wood park. It also has a splash pad as a great little pavilion for kids to do birthday parties or adults, I guess, or suppose. And you have some beautiful homes right across the street. And if you have a dog, there is Barkland Dog Park. 
Get it? Parkland, Barkland. They're so clever. And it's uh, two sides of the dog park. You have for the little guys and for the big guys and gals. So this is also right here, Veterans Park, which is it's more of a memorial, right? For veterans, it's not really a park. It's a flag, a couple benches to pay your respects to the brave men and women who have uh, fought in wars to give us the ability to even do this video right now and talk to you guys. So thank you very much, veterans. Much appreciated. We're going to talk about what these buildings are in a few moments also as we get going. But let's keep going. Let's keep talking about parks since we're talking about parks. One of the most famous visited love beloved parks in parkland is almost dead center i mean the other ones are great too but this is one of the newer ones this is pine trails park and as you can tell a lot of ball fields here also so you have baseball softball t-ball and all that stuff basketball courts lacrosse big soccer fields so and right here again talking about playgrounds because my kids there's actually a playground that was once an older, just a smaller version with a bunch of canopies you can see there. And then they added on this back end part, which also is handy accessible. So again, if you have uh, you know, someone with disabilities, it's a great park to bring them to. Also, they can enjoy the equipment. Probably our most famous park in Parkland. It's also where the most events are being held. Yeah, I know there's some concerts, movies in the park. There's fun family affairs I, that get held in that park. It's probably the biggest one, if I had to guess it. In fact, yeah. it's right there. Yes. So it's very convenient that so this is usually just open grassy area. But as you can see, right when the Google Earth satellite flew over, it ended up being this was one one of the many events they have little fairgrounds. They do uh, the Halloween stuff here, food trucks. They have a bunch of events that occurs here. And you'll see this amphitheater where your performances. Marisa mentioned movies in the park. They usually oftentimes have it here. We've been to several of them. Put your chairs up, watch the movies. It's really cool. And right off of that, this used to be the YMCA of Parkland, but now it's called the PREC or the Parkland Creational and Enrichment Center. Very similar setup to the YMCA. Classes, events, you name it, has all it has some great stuff in there. It has a large basketball indoor court also. That is Pine Trails Park. Now there are other quote unquote parks in Parkland that aren't really parks. We mentioned one briefly with veterans, but there is a other one that's called Six Acre Wooden Park, which is more of the entrance way to really great trails that is inside of East Parkland area. So it, the entrance is here. So this is Hillsborough Boulevard. This is the BJ Shopping Center if you want if you need some context right on the other side of 441 is coconut creek with uh walmart and bruise room coles and other another other other establishments just to give you kind of an idea of where we are looking on this map here inside the six acre wooden park is walking trails actually if you zoom in here you can see the trails within the trees it's really nice but the trails don't stop there and this is one of my favorite things about parkland walking through is that these trails can go a number of directions so for example we mentioned the, the covered Bri bridge park you can take this trail behind this community here this is actually a one of the, i think the only rental community in parkland it's called the bell bell of parkland apartments but you could take a walking path behind here and then you're back into the covered bridge park you could continue on and you can just go across Holmberg Road, which you see a lot of uh, people on, on golf carts, on horses, riding bikes, tons of joggers. It is a big biking area, by the way. People come from all over Southeast Florida and jump on their bikes, mostly on weekends and ride their bikes. So you'll see a lot of people on bikes. You actually see a lot of celebrities and athletes running along this road quite often. Going in the other direction on the walk-in pass, you can, you can choose. You can go along, that's Hillsborough, and then you can get into Terramaro Park, which we referenced earlier. Or you can actually go between, this is Pine Tree Estates and this is Turnbridge Community. Between these two communities, there's a, the path goes here. I've actually jogged this path many times, many years ago. I probably should get back in the cardio. It's great because there's, when you take this path here, here's Parkside Drive and you can just continue the Parkside and continue your, your journey. Or there's actually a little back little pathway here before you get to Parkside. And then here is Brian D. Archer nature area with a walk. There's a little path behind here also. 
but you could take this behind this shopping center or just cut into the shopping center and then you have blue then sushi pizza time we'll talk more about shops in a little bit and then the fire station and these paths you could and then essentially you could just take this walking path all the way down homeburg as far as your heart desires in many different directions i just want to give you a really basic idea of how great it is so you there's endless different directions and paths you can go whether you're jogging bike riding rollerblading whatever i almost said ice skating but that's not a thing here so it's actually yeah it's actually a very active city if you think about it people are constantly outdoors even though it's florida they don't care about the heat you'll see people very early on the streets with bikes and walking it's really nice you get outside and there's other people enjoying the outdoors another thing i i didn't mention i actually should have said this if you went north on these back pass there's doris davis foreman wilderness preserve it's so odd like you go off of parkside drive and you go it's not odd it's actually beautiful but it's just different that all of a sudden you're like transport it feels like you're in ocala florida or sebring florida it's like this nature area right in here it's great because my kids at the time of this video at least are going to river glades elementary and we actually have a property nearby we have walked through this many times and hung out had lunch and stuff it's really beautiful and really very relaxing during school hours the nature feel is a little off because you can hear to you know elementary school children playing but it's good enough it's cool and you can walk there also and just so you know you could take in a walking path north th this way as well since we're talking about schools and we're schools let's talk about the schools of parkland you've probably heard of it it's one of the main selling points of parkland the schools are highly sought after people fight and claw their way to get their kids into schools because they are all excellent there are three elementary schools you have river glades here which i mentioned go gators those are where my children go and then there's two elementary schools that are actually really close to one another on the west side of the city here now does this look familiar this is pine trails park with the amphitheater but there here we go we have heron heights which is right here great elementary school also and right up the road park trails right here so two elementary schools very very close to one another and they're all excellent schools as i mentioned before middle there's one middle school and one well i should say one public middle school and one public high school and they're right next to each other right on the south side of the city boarding the sawgrass expressway you have west glades middle school just did a walk-in tour fun fact with my son probably a week and a half ago great school the kids are really mature there and then we have we have stoneman douglas high school right here that's the main high school there are charter schools there's a k through h school somerset parkland academy here and then there is a half flick school right here and a church mary help of christians and then if you want to talk about preschools there's a ton they're all over the place so i'm gonna say Let's start from west to east. So let me just pull you over here. For reference, this is Heron Bay. If you know Reference Bay, this is actually, this is technically Coral Springs too, but it's really Parkland. This is Coral Springs. They got the Montessori School inside of the, this, these plazas here and also Cambridge. So those are two, there's two schools over there. There it is, Cambridge is behind Publix. And then inside of the shopping plaza, which is a Publix, Carmela Coffee, we'll talk about that in a little bit in Deja Blue. There's the Goddard School. A parkland if that's what you're interested in and there's a few more over here just for reference again these are the walking paths that i mentioned earlier a little nature preserve this is holmberg and over here is parkland academy right next to pizza time cafe and then there's uh, two preschools located on the far northeast corner of the city one's next to one of marissa's favorite places we're talking about glick gelato this one's called Prime View. And there is one other one nearby. It's called Primary Learning. And remember I was talking about the walking trails and BJ's there. It's right in here next to the Dollar Tree. So there's a bunch of preschool options. The schools are excellent. And you also have charter schools and private schools if that's your jam. Now we mentioned St. Mary's of Help earlier. So I think that's a really good way to segment into places of worship. So St. Mary's of Help is a Catholic school as I mentioned before, but it's also a Catholic church. And it's located right here off of University Drive, right as you enter into uh, Parkland. It'll be on your right-hand side as you drive into the city. And then a little further north, since we're talking about churches, we have Coastal Community Church with the homes by Kuzi. He's the real boss, Stephen Mashad. He he does a lot of work with Coastal Community Church. So if you um, go there, you might meet a very prominent member of our team. And right next to Coastal Community Church, you have one of the handful of 
uh, synagogues in the city. You have Congregation Kol Tikva. Please forgive me if I said that wrong. No disrespect whatsoever. And there is the Shab there's two different Shabbats of Parkland. There's one of West Parkland, which is actually doing services in Park Trails Elementary. I'll bring you back over to Park Trails Elementary right here. Again, for reference, here's Pine Trails Park with the amphitheater. Park Trails Elementary is here, and there's a Shabbat of West Park in there. They're at, operating out of there. And then there's a Shabbat of Parkland, which is over on the northeast corner on Ox Road. And this is where the 55 and over new community was being built called the Falls and the Tennis Academy here. So there's a number of options there. And if you have the Muslim faith, I don't believe there is a mosque or Islamic learning center inside of the city itself. I do know there is, however, one in Lauder Hill, which is a couple miles south. And if you want one that's a little closer, just across the uh, city lines into Coconut Creek, you'll see there's going to be a shopping center. It's right over in here. It's on Lyons and Hillsborough Road, the northeast corner. There's also a learner center if you're of the Muslim faith also. So great schools, wonderful places of worship, great community, wonderful parks and paths, playgrounds, you name it. It's good stuff. Now, this is more of Marissa's alley. Let's go back into Parkland, this wedge here. Let's talk about shops and restaurants and all that stuff. Now, listen, I want to apologize before and for all the small shops and business owners. We can't get to all of you guys, obviously, at least in this particular video. We did do a video, which you could see in one of these corners, once again, of some of our go-to small businesses in Parkland. Check that out for a little more detail on those. But Marissa, what's your spot? Yeah, I mean, I do like the, the little individual businesses that we did highlight in the top 10 places video. If you're more streamlining, you know, if you want to go more for something well known, there's a Starbucks that I frequent often. That's right in the BJ's Plaza. One of my go to's, if your thing is more like boba teas, there is a brand new place called Express Walk that's right across from Starbucks, just to the north in that Chevron gas station. They have amazing boba teas and also like quick Asian dishes, uh, and it's absolutely delicious. And then, you know, Glick Gelato, you mentioned it earlier. If you go a little bit further up the street, just to the north, an amazing place for homemade gelatos. And I love going there. That's my favorite place, treat after dinner. Yeah, and as you see here, there's Blue Agave, which is a great Mexican place. And then there is Los Picados, mm -hmm. which used to be in the gas station. It's it's great, they were, they were on Triple D with Guy Fury, is that how you say mm -hmm. his name? Great, a fast, casual Mexican. Actually, I might have that today, that sounds good. And since we're talking about Mexican, we have a Mexican video coming out. And <laughs> in that in that video, I guess why it's on our mind is, I always say this place wrong, what is it called? Terreros? Oh, Terreros, yes. Yeah. I, I think the... I'm gonna gain like five pounds making that video for you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's not technically in Parkland, it's across the street with Publix. My kid gets his haircut right next door at what's called Cookie Cutters. You have Dunkin' Donuts, Wendy's, you have pretty much everything. Inside of the city itself of Parkland, there's not, say, a downtown or any big shopping centers. There's like little hot spots of them. So just again, for context, these are some of the walking trails I mentioned earlier, Parkside Road, and, and I... And this is Holmberg with one of the main roundabouts in the fire station. But just in this corner, just north of the fire station, you'll have this little, I think there's four or five, there's actually five buildings of shops and daycares and stuff. And you have Pizza Time Cafe, this and All Star Pizza, which we'll show you in a minute, are the places to get pizza in Parkland. And then you have Bluefin Sushi, which is one of the main sushi spots, if not the main sushi spots of Parkland. And both of these have patios you can sit in. And if you love tea and that's your thing, there's the Queen's Tea House. My daughters, they go to Art Paper Scissors, which is a crafting store. Wonderful people own it. And there's a bunch of little other small shops in there also. And if I want to take you to some other shopping centers that are inside of the community, here's Parkland Golf and Country Club. And here is a farm, obviously. And inside of this little area here is also another public shopping center. You got a vet. The Gunnard School, which we mentioned earlier, a great date spot, Deja Blue. They have a wonderful patio overlooking this lake. It's really, it's really pretty at night. And then there's also a Japanese restaurant, Sushiato. I think I said that correct. Carmela Coffee is in our 10 favorite cotton mall businesses video mm -hmm. also. And as I mentioned earlier, the pizza place next door is All Star Pizza. They have great pizza, delicious. So there's that's a little shopping center right in the heart. 
And again, for context of this location, Pine Trail Park is slightly to the west of that. And I would say the other shopping area within the city limits of Parkland, which is, I guess is not even a city limits, it's technically Coral Springs, but mm -hmm. it is sort of Parkland, is over here. Another Parkland shopping center. We have professional buildings here. You have Angelo's Pizza, Little Havana, which is a Cuban restaurant. Uh, bamboo, awesome, awesome place, especially if you like acai bowls and other healthy eating stuff. There's a hurricane, uh, chicken wings, American food, sit down restaurant. Oh, there's the sweet and smart Montessori school. Sorry, I, I lost it earlier. Too much to remember. It's over here is a uh, cold stool creamery, which is ice cream. And right here is one of my favorite places who's also in our video. It's called Basser's Fine Wine and Craft Beer. They're a smaller version of something they don't ever want me to say. You can see what I mean. They're a smaller version, family owned environment, really, really awesome owner. She was a former teacher and just a wonderful, wonderful person. Great wine tastings and little events here and there. We've Pretty had closings awesome. in their back room too. Yeah. So it's cool. Across the street from that, we did inside of our video, we did crumble cookies. So we love crumble cookies. Little fun fact that has nothing to do with it. There is. I'll put the link inside of our description. There is a homeowner that lives in Parkland Isles. Some, I don't want to point out her house directly, but it's right around this area. And she does cookies homemade and very popular right out of her house. And we go, you order them, you pick it up and you bring it. We actually just did it for Valentine's Day for our kids, teachers, custom cookies. If you want to, you know, just be different and not just get what you get at all the supermarkets. And then there's a Walmart super center here. If Walmart's your thing in a number of the shops. So that's basically where you will find your shopping. If you're going to go get something to eat or go shopping and, and those options aren't appealing to you, there's University Drive in Coral Springs, which continues down and they pretty much have everything, especially right in this area here. Even a Trader Joe's, I'm a fan of Trader Joe's, but you name it. My wife and I's first date was at Big Bear. There's the Miller's Air Ale House, there's Brews Room. There's, it's just endless stuff there. There's a Killwinds, if you like Killwinds, you know, desserts. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tap 42. Yeah. Outback. There's BJ's Brew House. Delicious stuff. We just went there last weekend. And also the uh, the malls there too. Just right out of side of there. If you want to head south on university, there's endless stuff. That's where we go. There's a bunch of stuff on Wiles too, including Cherry Smash, which on my family YouTube channel, we had a video uh, and we mentioned Cherry Smash in there also. But again, even if you come out in Coconut Creek, there's tons of shopping, but those are other videos for the other day. Kind of give you an idea of the layout of the land, if you will. And after that, we just talk about the homes themselves. Now we have a lot of videos coming up maybe by the time you watch them they're already out really just uh talking about the community itself we actually have older videos but we're redoing them on our take but if you dig through our youtube channel you can see them but there's a variety of different types of homes that you can get anywhere from well there's that one rental community of bell parkland but then there's townhomes villas mm -hmm. within the muse over here by cypress head and then there's some little Townhome villa slash kind of looks like condo things inside of Heron Bay. But for the most part, you have very spacious single family homes all the way for huge luxury estates. And as I mentioned before, very unique properties in the ranches here with equestrian lifestyle. And also Pine Tree Estates where Marisa lives. You care if I tell people that? You don't care. I didn't uh, give them your address. Hey, look, I was one of the first. I uh, lived there 22 years and then everybody else followed. So I don't care. <laughs> Yes, and ironically, this is in our next video that I have coming out. It's probably out now by the time you're watching this. And I'm, well, I'll just tell you what it is. It's the four most expensive price per square footage homes in Parkland as of early 2023 when it comes to price under air square footage. So that's on the list. Where on the list? Well, you're going to have to watch that video to find out. So there's just a number of homes that you can have here. So just to give you kind of an idea of what you're looking at, this is kind of, uh, well, this is obviously, this is East Parkland, mostly well and septic, large lots here. And then here is Cypress Head, also large lot, but a very but different style. You're looking at 0.7 to one and a quarter acres on here. And there's uh, about 500 ish homes in there. And it's a huge community gated again, very sought after community. We mentioned this a few times. This is the ranches where you can have horses and other uh, types of agricultural businesses in there. Not too many of those sell. And then, then you have more of, I want to say the cookie cutter, but more of the development type of communities where a builder came in, bought a plot of land and put a bunch of homes, you know, from the, you got the landings, you have tall pines, you have Grand Cypress Estates, Metal Run, Fox Ridge. Fox Ridge is very similar to Turnbridge is right here on the opposite corner. And then 
you know, we can go on and on. There's a ton of communities. Park Island, we mentioned. We have we have Ada, Miralago, Four Seasons, Parkland Bay is up over here. And then if you want, Heron Bay is a huge, huge community. Actually, in the late 1990s to the 2000s, there were no traffic lights inside of the Parkland, Parkland at all because of the zoning laws. And when they built Heron Bay, they came to an agreement to allow traffic lights in there. And Heron Bay is just a huge community with a number of different things. Actually, we just had a closing. We have another closing coming up in the estate section with huge homes inside Parkland. And also they have townhomes below us and those smaller properties that are kind of like condos that I mentioned earlier up in the northwest side of um, Parkland. And there was something else I wanted to mention when I was talking about that, that I just slipped my brain. What was it, Marissa? I don't know, Chris, but speaking of Heron Bay, a little fun fact, there's I think only two communities in there that are double gated. So not only you have a gate on the outside of the community, you have an additional gate on the inside where people really value their privacy and security. So those are your largest homes in there. Yep. If you want a golf community, you have Parkland Golf mm -hmm. and Country Club, which is in our next video coming up. And also, if you just for reference, we mentioned Somerset Parkland Academy here. Right next door are the townhomes of the Miralago community. So they built this community all together, and there's the townhomes version of that. Actually, I just sold this one here not too long ago. So there's a nod. There was something else I want to mention, but slip in my mind. I'm sure it's going to come up in inside of another video. I know after I stop recording, this is going to come to mind. I'm like, ah, oh, I wish I said that. So, but it is what it is. So that is a quick overview of Parkland as a whole. We have a long list of videos coming out if they're not out already while you're watching this dive into the details not just parkland but boca coral springs and all that so we really want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel check out our website homespycozy.com for more information on all of this stuff and also inside of the description of this video there's gonna we have links for everything you know you want to search in parkland you want to search in boca if you want a certain price range in parkland if you want to link to all the different schools we mentioned and also all the different videos that we mentioned that we did earlier from Liberty Park, the small business videos and all that stuff in there also. Just reach out to one of us if you have any questions about Parkland. I'd be happy to share what I've learned over the last 20 years because I wish I would have had somebody that would be, was able to guide me around early on. There's certain things I didn't discover until five to eight years into living here. Isn't that something? Yeah. When I lived there too, same thing. All right, my friends, we will see you on the next video. You have a great day. Adios.